have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on, Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strength Team family, welcome to the Strength Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you got to do is put them at the bottom, and I promise you I'm going to make that video happen. We got the four-week Strength Team challenge, and this is week number four. This has been brutal. If you've been following along over these last three weeks, I want to give you a major salute. If you have not started yet, it is not too late. I will put week number one, two, and three right up here in the corner. Now listen, it's 2019. We got a fresh start, so I'm going to hold you accountable. If you're trying to gain weight, I want you to gain weight. If you're trying to lose weight, I want you to lose weight. No matter what your goal is, I want you to hold yourself accountable the entire year. It's going to get hard. It's going to be tough. If you're changing your body, it's never going to be easy. I want you to do this, though, because I know you can. If you're not happy, I want you to do whatever you need to do to make yourself happy. Don't do it to impress your coworkers or maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend because if they don't love you how you are, honestly, they may not even really love you. I want you to do it for yourself. I'll make sure I'll put how to gain weight up here and also a nice 12 week series to lose weight so it's all laid out right up here now get to it and quit making excuses that is way too much talking so let's jump straight into this killer back workout our first exercise we have the underhand barbell rows we have four sets and we want to stay between 10 to 12 reps like you're saying on the video my reps are clean i'm not rocking i'm not rolling i want you to think about getting that deep stretch now i want you to think about just driving your elbows all the way up and squeeze i want you to do this for your first and your second set now that third set you already know what time it is it's time to put some sweat on your forehead the third set is going to be a drop set so after you finish your 10 reps now i want you to drop some weight off now you're going to go right back in our strength team and you're going to do another 10 reps but this time i don't want you just to do continuous reps i want you to think about stretching for one to two seconds every single rep just like you're saying in the video drive your elbows up squeeze now come down and hold it at the bottom in that stretch position for one to two seconds when i tell you that your lats are going to be on fire it's perfectly fine if you have to rest for a few seconds because I think on rep eight, I had to stop for a second. My laps were just literally on fire. So I think I rest for maybe like three seconds and I went right back in our strength team and I finished my set. And that fourth and final set, you already know what time it is, strength team. We're about to take it all the way up through there. So it's going to be a double drop set. I think I had three 25 pound plates. If you're stronger, go ahead and add the 35s or maybe the 45s. If you're not as strong, you can do the 10s. Now this is how I want you to do it. You're going to perform 10 reps. Immediately after you get 10 reps, go ahead and drop some of the weight off. Now go right back in our strength team and do another 10 reps. Your pump is just about to be ridiculous. Immediately after you get 10 reps, take some more weight off strength team and I want you to do another 10 reps gain certified. Now after finish with that, we have the two minute dumbbell row. I know you're thinking, real, what in the world is that? This is what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a dumbbell row and we're gonna do it for two minutes. So I want you to do as many reps as you possibly can do and you're gonna do this twice. So I chose to use my left hand first just because my left is a little bit weaker than my right. I was not counting reps at all and I do not want you to count reps. I just want you to do as many reps as you possibly can do within a two minute time frame. Take minimum rest guys. Like I think my first couple times that I was doing it, I think I may as get like 18 reps, then maybe rest for like maybe 12 seconds. Then I go right back in and get like 10 more reps. Then like rest for like five seconds. Then get like eight reps. Then rest like three seconds. I did this all the way. <laughs> until two minute time ran out. I'm telling you, the pump off of this workout, just these two exercises, honestly, is probably enough for an entire back workout. This right here is gain certified, guys. You're gonna do both sets with your left, and then after that, you're gonna do both sets with your right. We'll take one minute of rest between every single set. Now after finish with that, we have the seated V-bar cable rows. We have three total sets. The first and the second set, they're just gonna be regular drop sets. So I want you to choose a challenging weight where you can get 10 good reps. So immediately after you get 10 reps, go ahead and lighten that weight up and I want you to get right back in our strength team and do another 10 reps. Now the third set, it's going to be a double drop set. I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can, but make sure you are still somewhat controlling the weight. What I mean by that, make sure you can still come all the way back and contract your back. If you cannot do that, the weight is too heavy and go ahead and lighten it up a little bit. So like you're seeing in the video, you're going to go ahead and do like a heavy maybe seven or eight reps. Immediately lighten the weight up. Now I want you to get right back in the strength team. Now you're going to do like eight to 10 reps. Make sure you are squeezing your back as hard as you possibly can on every single rep. Now after you finish maybe eight to 10 reps, I want you to lighten the weight up one more time strength team. And I want you to take this set to at least 10 to 12 to even 15. Team Rev. Gain certified, I'll tell you. This this back workout right here was just 
kind of ridiculous, but we serious about our games, so it ain't no such thing. If you serious about your games, you're going to love this workout. Now, after finished with that, we're going to do the dumbbell pullover. I know a lot of people don't like the dumbbell pullover, so if you want to do just a standing uh, straight arm cable push down, that is perfectly fine. What we have is we have four total sets, and we want to stay between 10 to 12 reps. With the dumbbell pullovers, I personally love it. I love how it hits my serratus, and I just feel like it's just a great way to finish off your back. You want to get that deep stretch, come all the way back, make sure you're controlling it, and then just drive it over. Like I tell you, never seen video when you're driving it over think about trying to push your elbows together what that's going to do is that's going to activate your lats so much more and then just drive it all the way back over hold it for maybe half a second and then repeat that until you get 10 to 12 reps now to finish with that we're going to do the barbell shrugs we have four sets and we're going to do 10 reps i want you to go a little bit wider than normal i feel like when i use like a snatch grip or maybe just a little bit wider than shoulder width i feel like it hits my traps a lot better if you do not want to do that you do not have to now listen the first second and third set you're going to do 10 reps and the fourth set it's going to be a triple drop set guys i think i had 365 pounds Take this to failure. If you got eight reps, do eight reps. If you got 12, do 12. Immediately, whenever you fell out, I want you to take some weight off and I want you to go right back in our strength team and do some more reps. Maybe this time you may get like 12 or even 14 reps. Go until your body says you cannot do any more. Again, I want you to drop some more weight off. Get right back in our strength team and just shrug. Take your mind somewhere else. Don't even think about it because your traps are going to be on fire. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean stop. That means that you're getting gains. So keep going until you cannot do one more rep and after you finish with that take the weight off and one more time take it to failure gain certified a lot of people's gonna be like man that's overtraining you cannot overtrain within like an hour it's not just physically possible unless you're just doing something crazy crazy this right here i'm telling you is designed to help you to get a great back pump you're going to hit your lats your just the mass the thickness the width everything that you want to bring with your just nice back development this workout right here is perfect for you i'll see you right back tomorrow we got a killer chest workout everybody's been asking for some barbell presses so you know i'm about to design a killer chest workout with the barbell bench press but like i tell you in every single video is routine make sure you like this video Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream.